Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a wireless PowerG sensor to your DSC Power Series Neo security system. Now the, the PowerG sensors are the only wireless sensors that can be used with the Neo. And if you want to start using PowerG sensors with your Neo, then you must add um, a PowerG transceiver to the Neo system. You know, you have a couple of options available. Uh, in our case, we're using a keypad with a built-in PowerG transceiver. Uh, this keypad is the DSC HS2 LCD RF9N keypad. And this is actually what we recommend as the initial keypad for your Neo system. It's an alphanumeric keypad, so it can do programming. And the fact that it includes the built-in PowerG transceiver, it's really nice, so that way you're not just limited to using hardwired zones on your Neo system. Uh, the other option, you can get a standalone PowerG transceiver module. It's called the DSC HSM2 Host 9. Um, so if you already have a keypad and you just want to get a standalone transceiver module, that's a good option. Uh, the PowerG um, sensors, they, they can do, um, they have a communication range of up to two kilometers away from the Neo transceiver in an open air environment. Uh, remember that uh, large metal objects or thick metal walls or stone walls, thick walls, uh, can reduce wireless range significantly, so keep that in mind. Uh, there is a PowerG repeater, the PG9920. If you're um, having some range issues, that, that can certainly help. And the sensors use um, military grade 128-bit AES encryption, so they're, they're virtually impossible for others to hack or take over or disrupt their signals, so they're extremely secure. So you can feel very good about the, using these sensors on your system. But I'm going to get into programming on our, um, on our Neo system. We're using an alphanumeric keypad, the, the one with the built-in transceiver, like I mentioned earlier. And I'm just going to uh, show you how to do it. So now we're at the main screen of our DSC Power Series Neo alphanumeric keypad. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get into programming by pressing star 8. And then it's going to ask us for our installer code, which ours is at the default 5555. Five, five, five. And then we're going to enter in programming field 804. And it's going to give us the option to auto-enroll a device, which is the one we want. Uh, so we're going to press star. And now it's going to ask us to um, activate our sensor. So it's uh, sending a transmission to the, the transceiver, so that way it knows to auto-enroll it. So we have a DSC uh, PG9914 motion detection sensor. And the way this enrolls is with um, an enrollment button. And uh, uh, PowerG sensors, that they use a lot of different methods for enrollment. Um, so be sure to refer to the manual for your PowerG sensor uh, to determine how this one enroll, how, how yours enrolls. Um, I'm just going to show you this one for our example here. Uh, we insert the battery uh, to power it on, and then we have to press this enrollment button. If you if you have small if you have large hands, you you might need a screwdriver or something to press it. But my my fingers are small enough to fit in there, so I'm just going to press and hold it until the LED light uh, turns solid orange. And then I release it, and it, it confirms the serial number on, on the screen. So that's good. So we're just going to press star to continue. And now it wants us to choose a wireless zone for um, the sensor to enroll to. It's going to give you the, um, the first sensor zone available, the first zone available automatically. But you can enter in a different one if you want to. In our case, we're fine with uh, 009. Remember that zones are expressed in three digits on the Neo. So we're fine with that. Uh, we'll just go with star. And now we need to choose our zone definition. Uh, this is going to affect how the system responds when the sensor is faulted. In our case, uh, we have a motion sensor. Let's say it's an interior motion sensor. So we'll choose uh, 004. And remember to refer to the Neo manual if you aren't sure about a zone definition. Uh, you can find all the zone definitions listed in the manual. So find the one that works for you. And now we're toggling partitions. Um, so what you can do, you can use the arrow buttons to scroll between different partitions. Um, you see that we have a partition uh, one is set to Y for yes, uh, whereas the other ones are set to no. If we wanted to toggle them, we could press the, the, the star key, and that will toggle between Y and N. Uh, but we want to leave all of ours set to no, except for um, partition one, which we do want to press yes. And then we press the pound key to continue. Usually that key would take you back, but for this menu, it takes you to the next one. So we'll press pound. And now we're programming uh, the zone label. And now this is actually uh, easier said than done on the Neo. You know, it, it does kind of have a convoluted process here. Um, so just to give you um, a quick overview, you use the arrow keys to scroll between different letters here. Um, I like to use a word entry program that you can do on here to quickly do this. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to clear out uh, the letters first. Uh, you press the zero key if you want to delete everything. 
So let's say we wanted to clear out all the letters. We're just scrolling through them, and we're getting the cursor under the letter, and we're just pressing um, we're pressing zero to delete them all. And um, there. So now we have our zone label completely cleared. And we're going to press star uh, first um, to give us various options. So we're going to choose the word entry option, and we're going to press star again. And we can scroll between different um, words here. Um, so the, the 001 through 193 are words, and then 194 through 238 are symbols. Um, so I recommend staying between 001 and 193. Um, if I enter in 050, for instance, then um, I'll, I'll get um, you know I'll be able to jump around, and I can kind of try and find the one that um, works best. Uh, so let, let's say let's say I want to call it a bedroom um, motion. Let's let's go with that. Um, so we're gonna start over one. Oh, oops, not me. Go to one. We're gonna skip ahead. Actually, we're just gonna kind of. Okay, so we're looking for bedroom here, uh, just to uh, give it a good one. Um, I, that was it right there. Bedroom. I think I just passed it. Uh, that's one thing. If you if you were close to it, then just kind of scroll until you find it. We're pretty close. There we go. Bedroom. So we have uh, that displayed. We'll choose star to confirm it. And then uh, if we want to make a space, we just press over twice. And then let's say I wanted to do motion. Uh, we'll do um, the word entry option, and we press star, and then star to confirm that we do want to do uh, an entry for, for that. So let's start at 80. Maybe that'll get us a little bit closer. Freeze, not quite as close as I'd like to be. Let's go to 100 and see if we're any closer. Uh, we're not looking for invalid. Um, so let's try 120, see if that gets us. Medical is pretty close uh, in, in terms of alpha. alpha alphabetized. So we'll just uh, kind of scroll a little bit until we get to motion. And it turns out it's 125. So we'll, we'll do bedroom motion. And that, that seems like a pretty good uh, zone label to me. So we'll, we'll just press, um, we're going to press the, the pound key this time to confirm again. And uh, that, that's, that's all you need to do. Now it's asking us to do the next zone, which uh, we don't need to do. So we have our sensor enrolled with the system. We can, we can exit by uh, pressing the pound key repeatedly, and uh, we're back at the main screen. Uh, so that's how you would enroll a wireless PowerG sensor with a DSC Power Series Neo security system. If you uh, have any questions about uh, the Power Series Neo or about PowerG sensors or PowerG transceivers uh, or about alarm monitoring, uh, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.